Hi guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be learning to do is open up a drawing in AutoCAD and how to navigate around the AutoCAD interface. We know what the interface is now. Now how do we move around it and zoom in, zoom out, things of that nature. Let's get to it. Also, make sure you like and subscribe below and hit that notification bell if you wish to see more of these videos and be notified when they are available. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up a drawing here. So um, we can do a few different ways to do this. Obviously, it's on my recents here, but it's not going to be for you. So let's go to file. Let's go to open here um, and let's uh, open up a new drawing. Now, if you don't have the file menu up here, again, use the A, open and go to drawing and then you'll find it somewhere. So um, to download this drawing, um, you'll see a link in the description. Go and download it now and put it on your desktop, put it somewhere. You don't really need to save it for later, but uh, if you wanna save it for later, that's fine. There's a simple drawing, it's an easy download on the website. So let's download this, or open it, I should say. So when you open it, you should see a few different figures here, and you are free to practice your line commands and kind of drawing these as you wish. Um, just using the first two videos, you really should be able to draw these two objects here. This one here is actually not that bad as it looks, but you may have a few problems as we haven't gone over some of the commands and make it easier. <clears throat> so first things first, zooming in, zooming out. Again, just like in the other video, we can hold down the middle mouse, we can move around, right? We can move it away from us, it zooms in. We can move it towards us, it zooms out. So again, middle mouse button will be your friend when moving around the drawing and it's good to just get used to moving around. Now, when, you're, when I say click, I mean click on an object like that, and then you can also right click on that object and you'll notice you get different things available. You heard me talk about that in the very first video, but now you get to see it. So again, click, right click, and you can pull up the properties, which will tell you details about that line, which is actually pretty slick. Now don't do what I did and almost click this button here. You wanna make sure you when you close properties, you close out just properties, not the actual drawing itself. All right, so with that being said, we have some other commands over here. So these are where we're gonna find a lot of our zoom commands. So first of all, we have the first one is zoom extents, and that one's easy. It zooms into the farther outer reaches of the drawing. Here's one problem though. If I have a little circle out here <clears throat> and I click zoom extents, notice what happens. My drawing gets small and it goes out here. Now, this is why it's not nice to have things in the middle of nowhere. You delete that object and boom, you're right back to where you need to go. Now, if you click and hold down, you have a few other ones in here, very popular ones are zoom window, meaning you click it and then you can window an area, sort of like create a space and it'll zoom in on just that area. Now you can also do zoom previous, maybe you didn't like the previous zoom and you wanna go back. Uh, there's zoom real time, which honestly is just kind of holding down the mouse and then hitting the left key, holding down the left mouse button and zooming in, zooming out. That's fine if you like that type of thing. Um, and that's really the most popular one, zoom all, again, very similar to extents. Now, um, so <clears throat> there's a few different ones on here too. You can zoom center and you can center everything around there and set a magnification like height and it'll kind of center it with 30 above. Um, so a few different ones there, you can play around with them just as well. But the most popular ones are zoom extents, zoom window, and zoom all and zoom scale. All right, so those are the few different ones that are very popular. We went through the major ones. But again, remember, just roll in, roll out. Really, the only reason I use Zoom Extents is to find these little stray guys that may or may not appear out in the middle of nowhere. Makes it easy to erase them. Then Z, Enter, E, Enter. Sorry, now I can type in the command Z, Enter, E, Enter, which Zooms Extents as well. Um, so that does the exact same thing as Zoom Extents. So if you wanted to zoom window, you type Z, Enter, W, Enter, and you can zoom window as well. If you want to zoom scale, zoom, enter, S, enter, and you can scale. You can kind of figure out a lot of the commands are pretty much pretty easy um, if you just remember that usually it's the first letter of every piece. Now, it doesn't, that's not always the case, so don't expect that always to happen. So that's really how you navigate and move around your drawing. So with all that being said, that is the end of this particular video. Again, trying to keep them under five minutes, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hi guys, and thank you for watching the video. Make sure you, if you haven't done so already, you subscribe to the channel and make sure you give it a thumbs up if you liked the video and it helped you out. Also make sure to click that notification bell if you wish to be notified when we upload new videos. 